Windows Project is an RIBA initiative working with the Regent Street Association, linking architects with retailers on Regent Street, Europe's premier shopping destination. National Geographic's got this long history of uh, exploring places, explaining about places, but also speculating about places' future. And combining that with the brief from uh, Reba to look at the cities of the future um, was a great opportunity. We kind of envisioned the, the window as a, almost a representation of the city as an ecosystem. We, the city is, is below, and the idea then is that the, the tubes become almost a, the sky is a mass. And so as you look at the, at the different tubes in each lens, there's little elements of, about the sky, about the environment. The project was, it was a very close collaboration with Aquascutum. Uh, we took the ideas from Aquascutum being Latin for water shield, which is equally derived from our name, hut, which is the primary sense of enclosure. So we thought there was a kind of nice synergy between Aquascutum being something which protects you from the elements, as does as the buildings. So the idea was is that um, much as tailoring is based on a kind of series of layers, a building is much the same. You might have a kind of protective element that protects you from the elements, uh, and all these elements are kind of laid up in layers, much like clothing would be when you wear clothing. So what we have here, like all the cities, like linked up together as well because of the internet and information technology. We are actually in one world, so all cities become like icons. The you know, unicorn, we work with them, and they actually like contribute to the design as well. Like we actually feel with a UV cut collection, making it like part of the installation concept. Like all these like sun rays that actually like give people an impression. These are like all the suns coming down from the cities. Our installation works to capture and reflect the movement and light of Regent Street and mix it with the striking colours from the Duchamp brand. Using a series of faceted mirrors, we create an ever-changing kaleidoscope across the full height of the window. A series of lamps behind these geometric forms breathe in and out with white light at the same rate as human breath, with each cycle creating a new pattern of change. We are always um, dealing a lot with the interaction of private space and public space because you want to draw people from the public into the private space and therefore the shop window can achieve quite a lot doing this. Our kind of analysis what's around the actual shop window in the city and it happened to be the bus stop. How we formulated is then that we installed the mirror to mirror the, the outside, the external space into the shop. What was missing in the bus stop was the typical red bench so that was for us the, the, the sign to create and to put it outside but also then inside the shop window. Uh, so we immediately came upon this idea that we would take the theme of water. We, we're interested in structures as a practice um, and create a water-based structure, a whirlpool essentially. So a whirlpool of genes in the space. So we've made a whirlpool of genes in here. Um, We've started at the outside, concentrically arranging them, and as they go around, they tighten up, and they tighten up, and they tighten up, and they angle, and they turn, and tightening, so we're almost vertical in the middle. We wanted to create an eye-catching um, and visually striking window. The juxtaposition of the natural birch trees with uh, man-made convex mirrors is an interpretation of our past and also of the future. The trees are reflected in the convex mirrors with the uh, Regent Street as the background to create an illusion of um, forested cityscape, which is our vision of city of tomorrow. Looking at the component parts, the Ferrari component parts, we became fascinated by them because I suppose as architects, you, you often work at different scales and when you extract a car part from a car, you're looking at it out of context. So we decided that we would present those pieces at a city scale. So for example, a car exhaust looks like ductwork, a valve looks like some columns. Um, when you look at the scale of the people for the buildings themselves, they're, they're actually very small. And what we're interested in that these new contemporary structures will will be able to generate energy and that energy could be harvested and contributed to another, perhaps a historic building or another activity. We looked at the two windows at Hoss and thought that they were quite unusual because they were not like a big window, they were two sort of display cases almost and this got us thinking about museums and kind of getting some sort of a formal inspiration from the idea of a swarm of butterflies within two display cases in the windows. So the actual um, piece that we've got in the window is made out of an aluminium sheet. It's a flat sheet that's then been routed out with the pattern to be able to fold it in um, lots of different ways. 
and the, each route also has small kind of holes stitched in it so that when you backlight it, you get a very, very strong, very attractive effect. I think we were interested in looking at ways that Soho could grow and could develop, um, but without developing the sort of way that's leading to the kind of amalgamation of small plots and turning them into these huge commercial developments. We started off with this idea of let's have a cross-section of Soho, and then we, we started talking with Banana Republic and developed this to um, producing all these building models. The idea is developed from having this huge window filled with a cross-section. So this window is our attempt to show our research. 